Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we are going to cover how to freeze multiple rows and columns in Excel. The purpose is to keep a certain area of a worksheet visible while you scroll to another area of the worksheet. E.g., you might want to make sure your headers are visible as you scroll through the worksheet. So, let's get started. How to freeze multiple rows. In this case, I'd like us to freeze row 1 all the way to 4, and I'll differentiate this by putting a different font so that you can understand, okay? So the first step, you're supposed to select the row below the last row you want to freeze, and in this case, it happens to be row 5. Then go to the View tab, then click Freeze Pains, then Freeze Pains again. There you go. So if you scroll downwards, you realize row 1 all the way to 4 are still visible because you have frozen them. So to unfreeze, go to the View tab, then click Freeze Pains, then Unfreeze Pains. So once you've done that, if you try to scroll downwards, you realize row 1 to 4 are no longer visible. Next, I'd like to show you how to freeze multiple columns. In this case, we will freeze column A all the way to D. Again, let me differentiate this with a different font for your understanding so that you can understand much better. So the first step, you're supposed to select the column next to the last column that you want to freeze. In this case, it happens to be column E. So select it, then go to the View tab, then Freeze Pens, then Freeze Pens again. So if you scroll to the right, column A to D are still visible. So that's it. So let's unfreeze. Next, I'll show you how to freeze multiple rows and columns simultaneously. So I'd like us to freeze row 1 all the way to 4. Okay, let's put a different file. And also column A to D. And I'd like us to freeze them simultaneously. So you're supposed to put your cursor at the cell which is at the intersection of the rows and columns that you want to freeze. So cell E5 happens to be at the intersection of the rows and columns that you want to freeze in this case. So you put your cursor there, then go to the view tab, then click freeze pins, then freeze pins. You see? So if you scroll downwards, you realize row 1 to 4 are visible. And if you scroll to the right, column A to D are visible. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's it about our today's tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, kindly subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Remember also to hit the notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. Bye!